Hello, Jason here with Serico. Today, we're going to discuss the degreasing process for sensitive, non-metal parts. Unlike most metals, which can be soaked in solvents until clean, sensitive materials such as fiberglass, carbon fiber, polymers, and wood require more care. Follow along and we'll cover the best ways to degrease non-metal parts without damaging them. If your parts haven't been properly degreased, they could have oils or residue that could prevent proper coating adhesion and may also result in blemishes in the finish. Cleaning and degreasing your parts should be the first step in the coating process. You'll want to do this before sandblasting so the media does not become contaminated. Washing with soap and water is a good place to start if the part is caked in mud or dust. Be sure to wear nitrile or latex gloves from this point on. Anytime you're dealing with chemicals and degreasers, carefully read the warning and instruction labels before use and storage. Let's determine the best approach for these three different parts. How we approach these depends on the substrate and the amount of residue that's built up. For fibrous substrates such as composites, carbon fiber, fiberglass, and sealed wood that has minimal to no surface contamination, a wipe with isopropyl alcohol or a wax and grease remover is sufficient. Lightly saturate a lint-free cloth and wipe the entire surface. When using a wax and grease remover such as Prepol, be sure to read and follow the provided directions. Lightly saturate a lint-free cloth and wipe the entire surface. Immediately after, wipe dry with a separate cloth to remove the solvent from the surface before it dries. This will prevent the solvent from leaving a residue. Water-based cleaners, such as Simple Green, may also be used for wiping parts. These are a great degreasing solution because unlike solvents, they're non-flammable and free of hazardous fumes. Polymers with an accumulation of grease and residue may be soaked in a water-based cleaner. Depending on how much debris is present, a shorter or longer soak may be required. Using a nylon brush is a good way to remove built-up grease and residue in corners and hard-to-reach areas. We recommend soaking the part and brushing until no residue is left. Water-based cleaners will often leave a residue on the surface that must be rinsed off with water before coating the parts. Another cleaning method worth mentioning is ultrasonic cleaners. These are a common tool for removing buildup in hard to reach areas. They use high frequency sound waves to loosen debris from parts, providing an effective and efficient degreasing process. Ultrasonic cleaners can be designed for water or solvent based degreasing agents, depending on the model. Most will have adjustable water temperature, cleaning cycle, duration, and sound wave frequency settings depending on the material being cleaned. Refer to your owner's manual for more information about using your ultrasonic cleaner for polymers. These are a few proven degreasing methods that we recommend, but there are many methods for degreasing that we didn't discuss, such as using vinegar or citrus cleaners. Feel free to try different methods and share your experience in the comments. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more helpful videos. Thanks for watching.